downstairs by where we came. We went up, Jimmy and I went up to the show in Baltimore. Oh, it was really good. Well, they're accepting more of the things that we're doing in the art world and the kind of shows like that. But you know, they never called us art for a long time. No, I know. <laughs> they thought we were nuts when we were kids drawing that stuff, you know, that you had had. Now it's art form, it's great. Five bucks, I'll make sure it gets on. <laughs> uh, what do you think about the current resurgence and the interest in your art and the art of Robert Williams and Fine Dutch? You know, the custom car, car culture show that's in our museums now. Uh, what, are, what are your impressions of that? Are you, are you surprised? I'm happy to see Von Dutch and Robert Williams get their, their due. And for me, I mean, I can't really draw anything except monsters, and uh, I'm sort of stuck. But those guys were really good, good artists because they can draw horses and roses and bottles and stuff that's, that I can't draw. But it's nice that the, that the public, especially the New Yorkers, accept us as artists because for years, you know, everybody would be down on us for drawing this crazy stuff. But the hot rodders accepted us. so. I, th I always thought it should be in the more in the mainstream, and now with the uh, stuff we're selling here, these limited edition prints, I think if people have accepted the fact that monster art is part of our evolution. What are, what are some of your favorite models, from, you know, some of your favorite Rebel models or some of the uh, uh, characters that you came up with? Uh, did any surprise you when you know, after what uh, you saw that when you saw Teddy Bob? Well, in the 60s, when Ravel started making the monster kits and the car kits of the Mysterion and uh, the Beatnik Bandit and the Road Agent, they were sort of forced to it because AMT was putting out kits of the a la carte and uh, other, other cars, and they needed a competitor. So they came to me and said, can we make a model kit of the cars at the car show? And I said, yes. So my favorite has always been the Beatnik Bandit because it had a bubble on it. People liked it best. They went to all the shows. All the promoters wanted me to bring it to their shows. It was just a generally accepted design, but that bubble top, I think, is what made it for me. So that's still, do you still have to get your bandit? I'm sure, uh, who owns that? Okay, now when I get through with my cars, I donate them to museums where kids can, watch, or can see them. So I donated that one to uh, Harris in Reno, Nevada which later became the National Auto Museum. And that's there on the permanent display there all the time, along with some other stuff that I've donated to them. Who are some of your fans that you've been uh, impressed or surprised that, they've, you know, that they might have grown up with Rat Fink or really got turned on to your work? I mean, you were surprised to see, I know the birthday party that out, that band contracted you to do their album cover. Um, uh, now, of course, with the museum shows, have you been a surprise to some of the folks? Uh, I really have because uh, people like Roseanne and Tom Arnold and uh, uh, the uh, home improvement folks, they're all getting conscious of this kind of stuff and they all send me pictures, you know, of, of, the th of their version of, of Rat Fink and it surprises me. And uh, doctors and uh, United States representatives, they all send me these things. They're here at the Washington show, I've had a lot of FBI agents people that work for the Treasury Department, the U.S. Patents Office, they all come to me and said, well, when we were in high school, we used to get in trouble for drawing this kind of stuff, but now we work at so-and-so and so-and-so, you know? So uh, there was a, um, uh, we have a design that says Rat Fink for President. And I was trying to con this lady that works in the White House to slip one under Bill Clinton's door. And she says, she'd do it, but I said, well, you might get your fingerprints on her and the FBI come after you, you know, but I'm sure that Bill Clinton is a Rat Fink fan. What are some of your favorite rat, you know, some of your favorite illustrations? Do you have any favorite ones you can show us right now that you got uh, down here? Well, 
I try things, and the, the ones that I think are favorites are not necessarily what the public thinks are favorites. And my definition of art is, if it sells, it's good. So the design, like Men Are Sick Individuals, which doesn't sell, which I think is great, compared to like Hog Breath, which is a good seller, Hog Breath is better than No Breath. I mean, that to me is a good design. But it's not as good as the Men Are Sick Individuals. So my, my uh, uh, objective in setting up this table here is to find out what the kids will actually pay for. So if I think that a design is good like Love Chevy or Fat Rats Rule, but if the kids don't take that couple of bucks out of their wallets and lay it on the table, that's not good. So then I have to forget that design. And that sometimes is hard because I put a lot of soul into these drawings. And because it's, the kids don't buy it, it's a failure. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Mark Parkhurst. I'm an internist in uh, general practice in College Park. And uh, I've been an Ed Big Daddy Roth fan for 30 some years, uh, ever since I came here and saw the Beatnik Bandit. And I've worn his shirts and followed his career. And uh, uh, the reason I'm here tonight is just to see him and uh, meet him and get some more shirts. And you've got, um, Ed told me that you drew some red things and sent it to him and told, told him that you had it by, you know, in the office. Yeah, actually, when I was a kid, after seeing uh, some of his work, I used to draw my own rat finks and monsters and cars, and uh, I sent some out to Ed, and uh, that's when we started uh, corresponding, and uh, just followed his career ever since then. So when you were, what did your parents think of your interest in rat fink? Uh, they, they weren't too upset as long as I stayed in school and got decent grades, but uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure, uh, uh, I think they thought it was, uh, it was all right. Can you get his? Sh uh, can you get Richard? It would mean a lot. Good guy.